In the movie The Matrix, Oracle says everything that has a beginning has an end. I previously played on a prison server which required hours and hours of grinding to progress. Like considerably more than anything anyone is used to. I came from a server which created players who are extremely competitive in the grinding scene, just like how I am myself. I would usually stream myself grinding and a lot of you would come into my streams and ask me the exact same thing. Mex, how am I able to become overpowered like you? I respond with the same thing as usual, grind. The word grind or grinding refers to one's ability to perform repetitive tasks. In this case, it would be one's ability to perform repetitive tasks to unlock something within a game. I was able to master this grind ethic over the years and not only is it useful in games, but it's also really useful in the real world. I am Max and this is how I was able to achieve 5 level 50 skills and become one of the most overpowered players in Hypixel Skyblock. I had recently left the network of factions, skyblock and prisons and was looking for my new home. I saw that Hypixel had released a skyblock game mode, it was still in its early stages, however I joined one month late, this wasn't much of a big deal as I knew I would be able to catch up before anything major happened. When I first started playing the game, I started streaming it. Some of my community were already playing Hypixel skyblock and had some knowledge of the game and how it worked. Let's go over here to uh, this guy, uh, there are 7 skills in Skyblock, your skills, dang dude, yo what skill should I work on? This was the first step to learning the game, it was simply asking all the questions that I needed to. I started like every other player, by asking simply how do I do this? The server and its concepts were very new to me. So I needed to learn fast to gain an edge over the other players who already had an advantage against me. During my first stream, someone wanted to give me a handout of hardened diamond armor and diamond blocks. Regular diamond blocks. As I was a new player, I thought that this person was really OP and was giving me a lot of value. However, as I progressed, I quickly learned that this wasn't the case. I declined the handout as I thought that it was in-game loot and I wanted to grind for it myself. During my second day playing Hypixel Skyblock, I contacted some people who had played the game already and we joined a co-op together. I was told that the armor set that I should grind for was Lapis Armor. This was because it gave extra health and XP gain which would allow me to enchant my armor faster. Back then, the most OP weapon was the Ember Rod. This was because it had the ability to cast a fireball which was like no other. This set me up for the success that I had later as I was able to compete with the damage of other players. The most OP armor was Emerald Armor. If you had this armor, you were considered a sweat and one of the most overpowered players in the game. This co-op that I was in didn't last that long as Akensoft and I became friends and I moved over to his profile. Changing over to Akensoft's profile wasn't the easiest thing that I had done. This meant that I would need to completely restart and leave behind my spot as the Pump King. Back then, I was the number one collector of pumpkins and the undisputed Pump King. However, this needed to be left behind in order for me to progress. By joining Akinsoft's co-op, I was able to learn from him. I didn't quite understand the talisman system and how something that wasn't a weapon would be able to boost your damage. This is when Akinsoft showed me that with the same gear, he was able to do considerably more damage to the same mod than I can do. This made my first task collecting all of the easy to get talismans. This wasn't the expensive talismans like the bait ring, however they still provided a buff to the character. It didn't take me long to learn that every talisman back then was important as a slight boost in damage gave a massive advantage in comparison to the other players. The end had not been out for too long and people focused on being able to one shot zealots. 
To do this, Ender Armor was used. However, as I had talismans, I was able to do this with Young Dragon Armor. I got this set off the AH for a considerable amount. It meant that I was able to beat other players to Zealots in order to farm them for their summoning eyes. This was a massive source of money back then as one shotting Zealots was difficult. This meant that the people who had the damage bar from talismans were able to compete a lot better than the Ender Armor players. Shortly after joining Aikentop's Island, the Slay update was released. I decided that the Slayer that I wanted to focus on was the Revenant Slayer. I'm sure that right now all of you are wondering why Revenant. This was because during this time every Slayer was considered profitable and the Reaper Scythe was considered the second best weapon just short from the Midas. This was because the minions dealt 100% of your stats in damage, it is now only 30%. If you had this weapon back then, you were considered very OP and one of the best players. I got Zombie A and had around 510k XP with no Reaper Scythe drop. At this time, there was no magic find in the critical potions or magic find at all. It didn't exist. Therefore, it became a lot less likely to get the Scythe as a drop than it is now. As I'm sure most of you know me from my Combat 50 video, it was while grinding for this Reaper Scythe that I was out damaged by a person with a higher level combat skill than me. All of a sudden, I started grinding for Combat 50 and the next thing you know, this was the dawn of skill grinding. As I'm sure you're all wondering, what do you mean the dawn of skill grinding? The dawn of skill grinding is when I started rushing towards level 50 skills which I believe influenced people to do the same. Skill grinding at this time was not very popular. This was because everyone had their focus on making money and doing dragons. Personally, I believe that doing dragons was way too easy. Yes, it was competitive and had the most cheaters on the server, but the concept was simple. Because of this, I decided to boost my stats. The base stats are the statistics of a character which are before armors, weapons or talismans. Boosting these stats were what I focused on. This started with boosting my combat which provided crit chance and boosted damage to mobs. In short, the crit chance was the chance of a critical strike applying to a mob. The critical strike was influenced by the critical damage multiplier which was another one of a person's base stats. This multiplier boosted your attack by the percent of your critical damage. This meant that if I dealt 100k damage blow to a mob, I would deal 110k if my crit damage was 110%. This had the added effect of allowing more talismans to be reforged towards the crit damage statistic instead of crit chance, as players should aim to get their crit chance to 100% before focusing on crit damage. In short, the combat skill will boost the damage that a person does. The primary methods to grind in this skill were Ghast, Pearl Spamming and doing Revenants. However, I decided to move over to the Ghast Grinder and this was way faster than Revenants. This was a layout which allowed Ghast to spawn and me to attack the Ghast and get their combat XP from killing them. This has recently been removed by admins as they have removed all combat XP from private islands meaning you would need to grind in the public islands like the end to get combat XP. One method that we could use in the end was pearl spamming. This was the method of having another player throw pearls into the air on a platform and the mechanic that was introduced by her pixel was that the pearl would spawn the respective enderman. In accordance to the depth in my terms, a zealot. This meant that I would have an endless supply of zealots to kill, making my grind more lucrative than ghosts. The next method was used by Aikensoft a lot. This was grinding revenants for combat XP. This was good if you had a lot of money, which he did at the time since he was one of the richest players on the server. This allowed him to achieve combat 50 and zombie slayer 9 with 3.4 million XP, which is the equivalent of 340 mil. This was a lot of money, however he got the result he wanted for that time. As I'm sure you are aware, after my Combat 50 video, Inhumanly set a like goal of 2000 likes. 
This was over double anything my channel had experienced before and he knew it wouldn't get hit. How wrong was he? This became my most viewed video on my channel by far, reaching over 5,000 likes and forced me into continuing my skill grinding career. This was because I said that if the light goal was reached, I would do 450. Speaking of light goals, if this video gets 3,000 likes, I will go for fishing 50. Don't let me down. Anyways, back to foraging. Foraging is a useful skill as it gives strength. This is a damage multiplier which affects every hit that you do, instead of just a chance like combat has. There are two main ways to farm foraging XP. There's an active method which is at the park, then there's a semi AFK method on an island. Firstly, I'm going to try and explain the park method in under 10 seconds. So you want to have a full young set and reach 400% speed, this can be done by getting a splash. Next you want to have a tree capitator and want to hit the top of the tree then move to the bottom and finish the tree. After this you want to AOTE to the next tree or just run there. Done. Well that was probably the fastest explanation of grinding the park that there is. Next is AFK foraging and another YouTuber called Bulva was able to make a nice design for this. He has an AFK pool with teleporter pads to change the way you are looking. Then has minions in the middle which spawn the logs. You then hold left click with a tree capitator and it mines the wood for you. If you want to see how this farm is made and a lot more detailed explanation then I'll leave a video in the description. After I reached Frozen 50 I needed a little bit of a break. In a way I did get a little break but it wasn't anything the way I intended. Out of nowhere, Akinsoft gave me all the enchanted sugar cane that was needed for Alchemy 50. This is by far the easiest skill to grind and only takes money and about 1 hour to go from 1 to 50. For hitting Alchemy 50, I simply put down as many brewing stands as possible and brewed from there. This was only because I didn't want to go to the same brewing stands multiple times, however there is nothing wrong with that. Next on my list was enchanting 50. This is similar to alchemy in the sense that they both give added intelligence which made me the smartest person on Hypixel Skyblock. There are two main methods for grinding enchanting 50 and which one you should use is mainly dependent on your ping. If you are a low ping player you will want to stack 2 books in each slot of your inventory and just right click to split off the books. For a high ping player you will want to use my machine. It is a bit slower as it takes some time to register a book has been dropped but this is nothing significant and for the effort that you put into this it is definitely worth doing so. This is what the farm looks like if you need any help with building just message us and we may be able to invite you to the island if we are not busy. As I'm sure you are all more than aware I also hit farming 50. This was one of the more relaxing grinds and has recently received two little buffs. Firstly, there was a buff to sugarcane. This allowed people to hit the bottom of the sugarcane and get the XP for the block above it. This meant that sugarcane was only around 25k XP slower than pumpkins, which is still the fastest method. The second buff was more of an indirect buff, but it's still a buff. This allows you to grind without needing to craft the pumpkins or sugarcane manually. This sadly wasn't added when I was doing my farming grind, it was actually added only 3 days after I finished. This is the prime example of Hypixel working against me. You heard it here first. As you can see, the personal compactor has a limited number of slots. This is important as it means that it can only craft a certain amount of types of enchanted items at a single time. I will be focusing a lot of my time into videos or at least I will be trying to. I am currently ranked 14th globally for skills and also want to keep this up preferably reach top 10 throughout the server. I recently asked my discord which you can find here on my community tab what I should grind next. Unsurprisingly you all wanted to put me through a hard grind and chose fishing. Hey on the bright side at least I get the hard work out of the way and make room for the easier work later. Now if you got to this point I must say thank you very much. I know this has been a long video and I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. If you got this far, make sure that you comment hashtag grinding so that I know. Also make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it will help me reach the YouTube rank. 
make sure you guys go ahead and follow my twitch and also go ahead and turn on the notifications as i'll be streaming a lot more so make sure you guys don't miss out on that i hope all of you have an amazing day and i will see you all in the next video peace